If there's one thing that all photographers and filmmakers have in common, it's that we always tend to forget our SD cards no matter how hard we try to bring them. This got me thinking. I really don't use SD cards all that much anymore. I primarily use micro SD cards for all of my photography and filmmaking. And today I wanna to go over why I do that and why I think it's actually a really good thing to think about and possibly even to incorporate into your workflow. Okay, so I want to start off by going over exactly what made me think about switching in the first place and eventually switch. And it's this card right here. This is the old trusty one, my original SD card. You know, the, the OG, the SanDisk Extreme Pro, the one most people use. 95 megabits per second, it's a good fast card, 64 gigs. The problem was right here, you see that wacky, silly putty you stuck in there with a piece of tape? That is in place of the little lock. They're on most SD cards and they're just to lock them if you don't want them to be used in the devices. The problem is that the cards do not work if those fall off, which they tend to do. Once they've fallen off, the card is a dud unless you do something like this and Jimmy Wag, whatever the heck that is in there. It's just really cringy and weird and you don't want to have to use this because it is not reliable once they have broken and like I said they tend to do this this has happened to two of my cards already and that's what made me decide maybe I should try some micro SD cards and today I'm going to be going over the benefits to this and what I have seen after using primarily micro SD cards in all of my devices for the past year now so this is a micro SD card right here this is the Samsung Evo 128 gigabyte card I also have two 64 gig ones and I am loving them so to start off with the benefits, the very, I can't overlook this one, the huge benefit that I see right off the bat is that these are compatible with so many things. I can use this in my camera, I can use this in my drone, my GoPro, or even my phone. The list goes on. It works in so many things. You put it in as a micro SD card and then you need it as a full sized one. You use the adapter that usually comes with them. You plop it on in there and you're good to go. Full-sized SD card, similar speeds to full-sized SD cards, and usually they cost less because they're always on sale, I've noticed. They are just always on sale. I got this 128 gigabyte card for $40, regularly over 150 Canadian dollars. It was on sale for 40 at Best Buy, and that's not out of the ordinary. These things are always going on sale. I don't know why, but it's awesome because these things are very durable. They're literally like an, a small little um, SIM card almost. There is no moving parts. The difference between an SD card and a micro SD card is kind of like an SSD versus a hard drive. There's no moving parts on them. They're super small and portable. But the difference between these and SSDs versus hard drives is that these are actually cheaper. Like I said, they're fully waterproof, dust proof, and they're very durable because there's no moving parts. Now, as well as this, like I said, they're generally on sale and they're portable, but their portability is one of their biggest advantages and one of their biggest disadvantages. SD cards are already easy to lose. Micro SD cards take that to a whole new level. And that's the big reason I can see a lot of people not opting to just completely switch to micro SDs. But for me, the advantages weigh out the disadvantages between their compatibility with my drone, my camera, my phone, everything. That compatibility combined with the weather sealing, waterproof, dust proof, the portability, and the fact that these are usually cheaper than normal SD cards. All of those things together outweigh the fact that these are small and easy to lose because once they're in the adapter where I always store them, they're the same as, as a normal SD card, just they're harder to break, cheaper, more versatile. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys use. Do you guys use full size SDs? Do you use micros, a combination of both? What is it that you use? And did this video change your mind at all if you are currently using SD cards? Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you in my next video. Links to the ones that I recommend down in the description below at the best prices that I can find. Because like I said, these things are always on sale and I can't recommend them enough. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video.